objective. I can understand specific information in interviews about health. Think. What can you do if you want to be healthy? Sit on the sofa. Play video games. Eat vegetables. Drink fizzy drinks. Juice or water. Exercise. Next, let's learn the vocabulary. Active. Active. It is an adjective to describe someone who does a lot of activities and has a lot of energy. Lazy. Lazy. Unwilling to work or use energy. Healthy. Healthy. Strong and in good physical condition. Unhealthy. Unhealthy. Not healthy or not good for your health. Feet. Feet. Healthy and strong, especially as a result of exercise. Unfit. Unfit. Not healthy because you do too little exercise. Well. Well. In good health and free from illness. Ill. Ill. Feeling unwell and suffering from an illness. Hungry. Hungry. Feeling or showing the need for food. Thirsty. Thirsty. Feeling a need to drink. Tired. Tired. In need of rest or sleep. Now you have learned the vocabulary. Let's practice. Exercise 1. Check the meaning of the words in the box. Then complete the definitions with five of the words. One, an active person does a lot of activities. Two, when you are hungry, you want to eat. Three, good food and good habits are healthy. Four, a fit person exercises a lot. Five, when you don't sleep, you are tired. Exercise 2. What are the opposites of the adjectives in sentences 1 to 4 in exercise 1? Use the words in the box. Listen and check. Ill. Well. Active, lazy, hungry, thirsty, healthy, unhealthy, fit, unfit. Exercise 3. Work in pairs. Look at the health quiz and choose the best answers A, B, or C. Health quiz. 1. It's 6 p.m. and you're really hungry. What's best? A. Eat some snacks. B. Don't eat. Wait for dinner. C. Go to a restaurant before dinner.
Two, you're thirsty. What drink is the healthiest? A, water. B, juice. Or C, cola. The answer is A, water. Three, your temperature is forty-one degrees Celsius. Are you ill? A, no, you're well. B, yes, you're very ill. Go to a doctor now. C, your aunt well. Go home and go to bed. Four, you can run one hundred meters in eleven seconds. Are you unfit, normal, or really fit? The answer is C. Five. You can't sleep and you are tired every morning. What's best? A. Don't go to bed late. B. Eat a lot before you go to bed. C. Don't go to school. Sleep more. The answer is A. Don't go to bed late. Six. What is a couch potato? A. A vegetable. B. A person who is very lazy and stays on the sofa a lot. C. A person who is very hungry. The answer is B. A person who is very lazy and stays on the sofa a lot. The word couch here means sofa. Exercise four: Read the health check questionnaire and answer the questions. Health check questionnaire: Are you fit and healthy? Let's answer the questions. A. Do you think you are active or lazy? B. How many hours do you usually sleep? C. Do you prefer sitting on the sofa? Or going out. D. Do you usually eat healthy food? E. What do you eat if you are really hungry? F. Do you like doing sports? G. How far can you run? H. Are you lazy at the weekends? You may comment your answers and let me know. Exercise five: Listen to three interviews. Which questions A to H in Exercise four does each person answer? Unit five: Vocabulary and listening. Exercises five and six. One. So, Charlie, are you fit and healthy? Yes, I think I'm quite fit and healthy. So, do you think you're active or lazy? Um, um, quite active. Okay. How many hours do you usually sleep? Normally, about eight or nine every day. Okay. And are you lazy at the weekends? No, not really. I don't like staying in bed. Do you prefer sitting on the sofa or going out? I like playing video games, but I also like going out and doing sport. I'm not a couch potato. Okay. Two. Connor, are you fit and healthy? Healthy, yes, but not very fit at the moment. Why is that? I'm studying for exams, and I'm really tired. How many hours do you usually sleep? Hmm, maybe six or seven. And is that okay? <laughs> no. My advice when you're studying is don't go to bed late. You can't do exams if you're tired. Okay. Thanks. Three. Fran, 
Are you fit and healthy? I'm quite healthy and very fit. Do you like doing sports then? Yes, I like running and swimming. How far can you run? Well, I run marathons, so I can run about 41 kilometers. Wow! So, what do you eat before a marathon? The night before a marathon, I usually eat pasta and chicken. Do you normally eat healthy food? No, I don't. I love making desserts and eating chocolate. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> One, Charlie. The questions are A, B, H, and C. Two, Connor. He answered question B. Three, Fran. The questions are F, G, E, and D. Exercise six. Listen again and answer the questions. Unit five. Vocabulary and listening. Exercises five and six. One. So, Charlie, are you fit and healthy? Yes, I think I'm quite fit and healthy. So, do you think you're active or lazy? Um, um, quite active. Okay. How many hours do you usually sleep? Normally, about eight or nine every day. Okay. And are you lazy at the weekends? No, not really. I don't like staying in bed. Do you prefer sitting on the sofa or going out? I like playing video games, but I also like going out and doing sport. I'm not a couch potato. Okay. Two. Connor. Are you fit and healthy? Healthy, yes, but not very fit at the moment. Why is that? I'm studying for exams and I'm really tired. How many hours do you usually sleep? Hmm, maybe six or seven. And is that okay? <laughs> no, my advice when you're studying is don't go to bed late. You can't do exams if you're tired. Okay, thanks. Three. Fran, are you fit and healthy? I'm quite healthy and very fit. Do you like doing sports then? Yes, I like running and swimming. How far can you run? Well, I run marathons. So I can run about forty-one kilometers. Wow! So what do you eat before a marathon? The night before a marathon, I usually eat pasta and chicken. Do you normally eat healthy food? No, I don't. I love making desserts and eating chocolate. Aha! <laughs> One. How many hours does Charlie normally sleep? He usually sleeps eight or nine hours. Two, is Charlie a couch potato? Why or why not? No, he isn't. He likes going out and doing sports. Three. Why is Connor really tired? He is studying for exams. Four. What sports does Fran do? She runs and swims. Five. What healthy and unhealthy food does she eat? The healthy foods that she eats are pasta and chicken. The unhealthy foods that she eats are desserts 
and chocolate. Exercise 7. Use it. Ask and answer the questions in the health check questionnaire. Who is fitter and healthier? That is the end of the lesson. To practice more, you may click the link in the description box. Do like and subscribe to see more lessons like this. Good learning!